we as the German Armed Forces are very happy to train together with our new Finnish allies in, in NATO. So for us it's the first time to be here in Finland, so it's a, it's a quite good experience um, to enhance uh, the interoperability with our Finnish comrades um, and to foster NATO's integrated air defense. So this is the aim why, all, why we are here and that is the main purpose of our, of our participation in this exercise. So um, we are ha very happy and very thankful that we were hosted so well. So it was really a great experience that uh, Finnish Armed Forces welcomed us with, with open arms and uh, we experienced really a great professionalism from your side okay. um, and it was very easy to integrate in this exercise. So we learn a lot, uh, we foster in uh, interoperability to connect this new weapon system uh, with our Finnish comrades. This was uh, the biggest challenge for us but we uh, gained a lot of experience and we get very but we got to a very good point that we can integrate our weapon system in, in, in your exercise and, and that's the main focus of being here. Um, so it's, it's a little bit different because uh, our Patriot weapon system is a long range, range system. It's going on long distance and the Finnish uh, weapon systems are more in the medium range and the short range area. And to put this two different types of weapon systems together uh, was, was a big experience and, the, and the, the aim of the exercise. So for us, we learned a lot. Uh, we are very happy to be here and to welcome our new Finnish allies. And to be, we are very glad to be part in this exercise, uh, which is very fruitful for us and I hope for our Finnish comrades as well. So, if you like, we can go to the to the uh, fire distribution center and, and show you a little bit uh, what we are doing. Um, we are from uh, Germany, from from the northeast. It's uh, Sam Group 21. I'm the commander. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Leda Manuel. Uh, we have uh, normally four of this type of weapon systems in our battalion and above there is a uh, headquarters element and here we participate with one of our fire units and a small headquarter element so we are with 120 people here for two weeks. Um, yes, and here in the core of the exercise and this week we train together and yeah, can experience a lot of flying assets and all that our Finnish comrades provide us here. So, uh, the fire unit consists of, this is here the brain more, more, more or less, you see the radar in front here, the one with the blinking light, this is a radar. Um, at the right side you see the, the fire distribution center there, our officers sit in front of a scope, uh, it's more or less the same as, as your system, so we have a, an air picture in the in the cabin, it's connected to the headquarters. And this, this is a little bit artificial here. Normally, we, as I said, we have four of the systems and in the headquarters they do the distribution of the targets to the different fire units. Here we only have one, so it, it's more or less easy to choose the right weapon system because we only have one. <laughs> so, uh, and we are connected then into the Finnish uh, C2 structure and command and controlled by our Finnish partners. Um, in front here, you can go on the right side, Normally in, in front of the weapon system then we have some launching stations. This is where the rockets uh, are on trucks uh, located. Uh, we have here two in this exercise, but we simulate with eight. So we have normally this uh, fire distribution center here with eight launching stations, each manned by four rockets. So this is center of the center of the fire unit. And we have maintenance here, we have a command post. And what you see here in the, on the left side, this is a communications device. We have such a thing uh, at, the, at the antenna. We have it at our headquarters and it's, this is a radio connection, so, so to speak. Yeah. That's a weapon system Patriot and very, very... So, so there are four fire units with eight missiles each? No, in, in Germany, in my right. battalion, we have uh, four fire units with eight uh, launching stations. Launching stations. Launching stations. And one launching station has so four, four of each, each at yeah. any time. At any time. But here we have one two. And but how how, lar how large an area do you, if, if you deploy the, the whole unit, how large an area would so you what cover? What we normally could cover is 100 to 100 kilometers. But this weapon system mainly is uh, for um, the protection of an asset, so a special place like right. a military installation, a power plant, or right. something like this. Right. So we have an asset in front of us that we protect, but normally we have a square of uh, 100 to 100 kilometers which we can cover, but we have to stay at a, a certain asset that, that, that 
uh, way we were. Germany has deployed some units or donated some units to Ukraine. Yeah. What kind of experience, or maybe you don't have personal experiences, but what kind of experience do you have from the actual use of these units in a live situation? Yeah, you can see it in the media, so that is what, what okay. our information is as well, <laughs> okay. uh, that we have a, a big impact because uh, air defense, as we see in Ukraine, is one of the key uh, capabilities you need mm -hmm. in a conflict like that, mm -hmm. so it's a, a Patriot is very capable because right. it's not only against uh, the everything threat, and, but it's uh, against these missiles mm -hmm. and uh, especially against uh, mm -hmm. tactical, tactical ballistic missiles. Correct. This is one of the capabilities this weapon system makes. And what, should the cost, you what is the cost of one rocket? <laughs> it's an uh, <laughs> <the> information <laughs> <laughs> you should not write down. <laughs> what, uh, what, what, how, do you, how does the Patriot system compare with the system that Finland bought recently from Israel? The, the David's yeah, David Sling. Sling. Uh, they are quite of, of the same level, mm. so both of them are long range. Right. Uh, but David Sling, I, you are the expert, where are they? <laughs> is David Sling here? We are not ex experts yeah. yet. <laughs> yes. David, so my, I, I, bo both yeah, of them are long range right. systems, so in at the moment you have only, oh, oh, not only, you have medium range yes. and short range. And important for air defense is that you put them all together. Yes. So this layered defense, as we call it, mm. this is a uh, unique. Uh, bit that we have in NATO, this integrated air missile defense, mm -hmm. which, which is very, it, it's not easy to handle that you have medium range systems connected to a long range system, connected to a short range system, and all together they have the impact we want to see. Mm -hmm. All the different layers, that, and then you have a really integrated air defense, and, and that's, the, that's uh, the big advantage we have in NATO, that we can connect them all together. So, and, and in Ukraine you see that they are quite they, they have the systems, but they are not so well. And that is their big problem. Yeah, so that's the, the, the way they have to go, that they get a chance to connect all the systems and have uh, like a protection mm -hmm. for the whole country and all the members. Uh, the thing with, with air defenses, ground, ground to air, is that, that when you fire them, then they will know where you are. How long does it take for you to move, move away? From oncoming fire, incoming fire. So, yeah, you're right. Normally, when we when we uh, engage mm -hmm. the target, we normally deploy to another uh, mm -hmm. to another area. We are quite it's a quite mobile system, mm -hmm. so it takes not so many minutes. Mm -hmm. So we are quite quite fast. Mm -hmm. So, but that's a big advantage. Too. But these are of course not deployed near the front line. They're usually no, no, no. Way this back. long range is mm -hmm. more in the back, and in yes. the front line there is more the short range right. system. Right. Right. Like like the, um, in Germany, we have a uh, short range system like Stinger. Mm -hmm. and, 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 it's mm -hmm. called Flaz, it's, 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 it's a German uh, expression. So, and with this uh, very mobile short range systems are at the front line, mm -hmm. and we are more in the back. Mm -hmm. Great. How, how high has it gone in this rehearsal? Any problems or everything went well? Uh, yeah, it went very well. At the beginning of the exercise, we had really uh, challenges to connect each other. So, but that, that's the big advantage to be here. To, together because when you are on the same field side then our experts cyber uh, or our, um, our experts in the communication branch they had a lot of um, yeah, homework <laughs> but they have done a very an exceptional job and now a few uh, oh, uh, after a few days they were able to connect the, the systems together and now we are on a very good standard so that we can talk to each other and the data is going back and forth so okay, yeah. we are quite happy now yeah. so it's the main goal of the exercise and we already achieved it. That's, okay, yeah. that's really a big advantage and that's why we're quite happy that it's worth yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks.